Recently, I was invited to speak at a conference on Islamophobia. And when, and when I introduced myself to a colleague, she said, oh, CARE Arizona, your reputation precedes you. You see, in the past year, CARE Arizona has been on the forefront of many major stories, not just locally, not just nationally, but globally as well. So we're building a great reputation for ourselves in terms of the work that we're doing. When the subject came up as to the size of our organization, her mouth was wide open because I explained, we only have three full-time employees. And she said, you all are doing the work of a much, much larger organization. And for that we say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah for our community that supported us and nurtured us as an organization has helped us grow to this point and become a leading advocate for civil rights and advocacy for the Muslim community. But there's much, much more work that we need to do. We all know what's happening out there right now. Islamophobia is at an all-time high. There's people who are running for elected office who are openly calling for the curbing of Muslim civil rights, including banning Muslims from traveling to the U.S. and for monitoring not only mosques, but entire Muslim communities. We need a strong organization in place that's going to protect the rights of the Muslim community. In 2016, CARE Arizona has launched the Hate Hurts Initiative to bring light to the stories of Islamophobia and hate crimes that are impacting not only the Muslim community, but Sikhs, South Asians, Arabs, and many other communities who are perceived as Muslims. This has garnered, once again, global attention and has become a vital resource for journalists and community members to track the, the scourge of Islamophobia. On the legal side, CARE Arizona has been part of many landmark cases, including assisting 150 Muslim Americans who have been fired from their job for just seeking a workplace accommodation. Additionally, we are filing suit on behalf of two Iraqi refugees who were detained and banned from a shopping mall just for the fact that they were speaking Arabic. Not only that, we're doing great work in outreach, we're doing interfaith work, we're doing anti-bullying trainings, and we're training the community about advocacy and meeting with elected officials, and we're doing this with such a small staff. But none of this would be possible without your generosity. CARE Arizona runs completely off of the donations and generosity of our community, so we encourage each of you to donate either monthly or one-time donation by clicking the link below or visiting care-az.org slash donation form. Together, we can build an institution that puts Islamophobia to rest for good, and we can continue to protect the community from civil rights violations. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.